Welcome back to the channel GNG Film, and on today's episode, you're gonna get to ride with the kid from point A to point Z, from job number one to the last job. So buckle up your seatbelt, grab you some ice cold to drink, ice cold, cause it's gonna be hot out here. And we gonna get straight into it, but first, you already know, I gotta hit you with that intro, baby. The last of a dime breed. Stars in the ceiling of my coupe. But I started from the bottom, two bedroom pigeon coop. And it was seven of us, so we had to make room. I remember plenty nights sleeping on the floor. Daddy got a warrant, crackers at the door. Mama working double shifts at Burger King. Welcome back to the channel, folks. As you can see here, I'm already prepped and ready to go. I'm ready to shoot this thing up under this sidewalk. You see me? Yeah, we ready to right there. I already got the driveway prep, ready to go. I ain't got the pop outside yet. You know that, that's right there for the terminal. See me? That's the terminal. And the stalk coming up out the ground. We gonna pop out right there. It's about a good 15 foot of driveway. In a five foot slab of sidewalking, and we got to go up the side of this house right here, right up on the side over here. You see me right on the side of that window, right between the tree and the window. Yeah, we got to go right up in there. So, once we get past this sidewalk, we're going to be able to go ahead and get on up in there. Start getting some line in the ground. Just give you a little more. That's the route we gotta take right here. But right now, today, guys, sorry guys, I didn't wasn't able to get the uh, tripod, but uh, did a little something that can help us out. Did in a, uh, use my senses, my spider senses, and found something where I can still be able to give you some type of exclusiveness. You just probably won't be able to see me on the side of the camera now, at least for about three more, four more episodes, but you get me, you got me, you got me. Cut you back on when I get everything somewhat going on. All right, guys, we back with it. Got the missile going over here on this driveway. Had to slow it down so I can catch y'all and put it back on here. You see where it's hitting at. About right up in here. Got about this much farther to go. We already got the sidewalk. See the line? I already pulled the line through. You almost see the tunnel down there. Get that down in there for you. See that tunnel? I told y'all, man, when you uh, shooting them sidewalks, you ain't got to cut out a big patch like how we do right here with the uh, driveway. You see how we had to cut out the patch and actually create the, the little uh, pit hole. See, with the sidewalk, you only going up under five feet worth of concrete. So by the time that head reached to the other side, the, the ass end just not getting in. So you don't really need no big pit hole for a sidewalk, man really just you know use your warmth and open it up open it up a little more and you can go ahead and uh get up in there with no problem i'm gonna have to cut y'all a little short man we about to get ready to pop out and i ain't even started digging for this side yet so i'm gonna have to cut you short i just wanted to go ahead and cut you on while we still in motion i know we ain't got the tripod for this episode but like i say man we got a little something that's still keeping me in handy with it i ain't got to hold my hands as much but i'm gonna go ahead and uh dig for that and i'm gonna cut y'all back on when i get it popped out with the line over there on that side too already did the digging already done found it you see it right there Right there. And it's like right up under the driveway. See that? Right up under the driveway. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and pull it back. So we can run that line up through there. 
go ahead and let y'all hear the thump. Basically, the missile head got a forward gear and a reverse gear and a neutral gear, basically. So once it go forward and it make its destination, you need to get it, you know, to pull it back, you just turn it in the opposite direction. You just go back, man, and that's how it's done, baby. This is the ride I'm gonna take right here. Popping out of this sidewalk right here. I'm gonna go straight up to my missile pit hole, pop outside hole, and go straight in, go straight into the terminal. Set y'all back on when I kind of get everything a little lined up. Probably touch on after I open up the ground over here, once it open, the trench line, you know, uh, go ahead and bring you back on then. But let me go ahead and get this, this hole, man, about to pop out on you. Man, I'm gonna get back with you. Already got it buried up. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh bear it up going up. You see where I stopped there so I can grab the camera. I told you I ain't got the tripod right now, man. You see I'm I'm on the side. You see the tree? You see how close I'm hugging the uh fence line coming up to the tree? We have a little problem over here. You can see we got asphalt in the yard up under this facade going up. And I think it was possibly uh, an extra little side driveway or something. I don't know. So I wanted to stay along here, but you still still see good, still down to good depths, man. Good depths leading all the way up. It was a uh, good about probably about 240, 240 feet. Probably took me. Walking don't really take that long, especially when the ground like this. You can tell the ground soft because you can see how how the walls of the trench is. You can tell the ground is very soft. But they go to uh connection uh near right there. See it? See me right here? Had to go up under that little log right there. That's the little trench line right there. We'll go ahead and get the line in and stump it in. The warping process probably took me about a good, on this side of the fence line, the warping process probably took all the way to the back, probably took me about a good, probably 22, 23 minutes. If that, though, I doubt it. I think it was probably about 20 minutes max. I wanted to take my time because I knew I was going to come up on that asphalt over in this area over here. So I just wanted to take my time leading up to the, to try to see if I can take it out this way or get more close up on that fence line before I get up to that tree. I'm gonna go ahead and bury everything up and cut you back on when I finish it up. All right, fam, we back with it. Got the line all in the ground. Done did my duck walk. Everything is done. Coiled up at the knee. That's one thing you don't want to forget, folks, when you're down. Somebody, y'all, I, I do it sometimes. I ain't, I ain't no hypocrite. I do it sometimes. I be done forgot that I ain't coiled up out here at the knee. And be done got, you know, told about myself later on in a week or a week or two later. Just getting you to walk through, man. Just getting you to walk through. I ain't even gonna go all the way up. I should, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you. Do that for you so you can see that nice coil up with that copper. That good old copper, you see it? See that nice coil up? That's the finished product when you want to walk up to the house. The technician want to see it like that. That's exactly how they want to see it. Pull up, boom. Cut that thing down, splice them up. Close that nib box and he out of here, pretty much. That's the process, man. All right, folks, on to the next one. You know how it go. Cut you on when I get to the next one, baby. See me, I got the selfie stick. I ain't got the tripod right now, but I think this kind of gonna work out though. The selfie stick, the tripod, 
with all the lighting. I think it's gonna be a nice little setup. I might have to get a little used to holding the selfie stick. You know, I wasn't around when everybody was selfieing it up. You know what I'm talking about? I was somewhere on vacation. Get back with you when we get up to the next job site. Stay tuned. 20 minutes later. All right, guys, we up at another job site. All right, I wanted to point this out to you guys. I can about bet you, tell you why I'm here to replace this line. Can you figure it out yet? Can you figure it out? Exactly. They replaced some of this concrete, the sidewalks in this community and in some of the driveways, I guess. So they already ran the line under the sidewalk right here and just running up to the side of the home. Like a normal one should be, man. I don't know why everybody wanting their line ran all the way to the back of the house and all that. You see that right there, boom. See, I like them when they like this, boom. Right here, connection, connection. What's in between ain't no more than 80 feet. I love them when they like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get down to it. You know it ain't gonna take me number like eight minutes, max. And I'm gonna cut you back on, man. Show you some more. All right, guys, back with it. I already got the line buried up. All the way to the knee, man. I don't play you. Can, yeah, let's dig up in here. Let's see. See that? All the way to the knee, baby. Ain't no playing in my game. I don't play that, man. So just understand. You see that black truck out front? Coming to do your yarn? You better know. Ooh, he gonna put it in the ground real good. I've been watching his channel. So you need to be subscribed and hit that like button. You know what I mean? Because I may be pulling up to your house next. I'm stumping it in as I go right now, folks. You see how close that is right here on this drain pipe going up to the water? I wanted to get my shovel in there instead of whomping. So I stopped my whomping right there and, and, and went and grabbed the shovel and grabbed the camera so I can get y'all some footage in on this. I just started. And as you can see how far I got to go with it, it ain't no more than probably about 90 feet, maybe 85 feet, if that. So guys, that's really going to wrap it up for this video. Appreciate everybody staying in tune with the channel. Uh, like I always say, man, stay prayed up, stay blessed, and stay getting to that money on, man. Peace. Last of a dime breed. Stars in the ceiling of my coop. But I started from the bottom, two bedroom pigeon coop. And it was seven of us, so we had to make room. I remember plenty of nights sleeping on the floor. Daddy got a warrant, crackers at the door. Mama working double shifts at Burger King. Mama.